I've recently come to the realisation that the Monogatari series might be one of my favourite anime series of all time. Now this probably isn't a surprise to anyone who's been watching me for a while, since I seem to compare the series to fucking everything. Seriously, I've compared things to Monogatari almost as much as game journalists compare things to Dark Souls. Now, this isn't a way of me saying that the Monogatari franchise is the Dark Souls of anime, because we all know that Senko-san is the Dark Souls of anime. Don't, don't try and refute that. No, what I'm trying to do is establish a segue into the video, because since I made the How to Make a Feels anime video, I felt I wanted to do the same, but with the interesting world of light novel adaptations. But there are tons of light novel adaptations out there, so what am I talking about? Well, I want to focus specifically on the Monogatari series, Rascal Does Not Dream of Bunny Girl Senpai, and the melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya. This is for two reasons. Firstly, because bad comparison is the lifeblood of this channel, and secondly, these are all supernatural light novel adaptations with a high school setting and witty character dialogue, and seeing as there's interest in this kind of story, with Crunchyroll even pumping money into the production of one of these types of shows, I realised that this could be a very lucrative venture. So let's get to writing one of these. Of course, starting with, the OP must tell you all about the most important characters in the show. Specifically, the male lead. Just fucking kidding. We've got to get asses in seats, and we can't achieve that without figuratively putting the merchandise in the store window. So, we'll have cute girls walking around and dancing. If you're lucky, we'll have a few cutaways for the rest of the cast. Now, should this opening tease future events in the show? Well, let's put in some vague imagery. It'll mean something later. We promise. Now, let's get writing some characters. First we have our male lead, they will have dark hair and constantly be wearing their school uniform. Personality wise, they will either have an inner monologue, or they just say what they're thinking out loud all the time. In fact, even better, let's have both of these traits at the same time. Let's make sure they are also a horny bastard, because I've got to relate to them somehow. They must also be visibly injured at some point. No idea why, but who am I to argue? And this character is somewhat of a social outcast, and so we need another character who acts a friend to them, who actually knows something about their social standing. In Bunny Girl Senpai, this is Kunimi, who has multiple girls vying for his affection. He's definitely a popular fella. In Haruhi, it's Izumi, who's a well-to-do lad who hangs around with a lot of girls. Yeah, sounds like someone with a decent social standing. In the Monogatari franchise, the person who appears to be giving Aragi all his social advice is Oshino, a middle-aged fella who lives in an abandoned school building and helps Araragi get sucked off by what looks like a seven-year-old. If this fella is somehow less socially inept than Araragi, then God knows how he keeps a girlfriend. Oh yeah, the girlfriend. The female leads of each of these shows are Senjo Gahara Hitagi, Haruhi Suzumiya, and Mai Sakurajima. Now, I'm going to preface this next statement by saying that I personally have a dislike for simps, and I believe them to be spineless. But having said that, I want them to step on me. Each of them should, where possible, wear something cute. They should be fairly close to the protagonist, and may even have a romantic relationship with them. But that won't stop them from acting like Cinderace. If they are in a relationship with the protagonist, then they will do romantic activities with their partner, such as lying on the floor at least 30 centimeters away from each other. At least they prepared for social distancing. Also, they are all social outsiders. But despite this, these girls should be the only thing that people in their school talk about, namely the fact that they're all thicker than a snicker. They should also have a talent that only gets mentioned for one episode, such as running, singing, or wearing a bunny girl outfit. I'm still salty it was only for like 30 minutes she had that suit on. Besides them, we need to have an Emoto who is always seen watching television. We need a girl who actually knows what's going on and often explains it to the protagonist. And we need a character that the protagonist has a slight crush on, despite having a previously standing engagement to the female lead. And now, this is the bit where I actually have to write an arc. You see, an arc in each of these shows will consist of a girl, as the central focus, being affected by some kind of supernatural phenomena. This girl should probably be in the year below our protagonist, and the arc will be them coming to terms with how they are in love with the protagonist, or someone close to the protagonist, and how they can never be with them. For the sake of this episode I'm about to make, I'm going to be doing the first episode of one of these arcs, although they take about two to four episodes to come to fruition. Since this is going to be the first episode, the characters should spend their time fucking about, because if they actually got their heads down and tried to solve these issues quicker, this series would be about half the length. This episode should briefly introduce the subject of the arc, and should end with them revealing something. It doesn't have to be important, but it's got to transition nicely into the EDs for these shows don't really have much of an overlap. The ones in the Monogatari series have weird geometric shapes, the Haruhi ED is one long dance, and the Bunny Girl sung by ED has a different seiyuu singing Fukushigi no Kate. So I guess I'll just have to go with some weird geometric shapes, dancing, to Fukushigi no Kate. Ah, but 
joys of compromise. But finally, we need to have a few notes about the presentation. Our settings should include conveniently empty classrooms, protagonist's conveniently large bedroom, and conveniently crimeless public parks. The dialogue should be snappy, with the characters deconstructing each other's desires, be they sexual or otherwise. There should be an extended conversation about how to spell their names, because I guess that shit is much more interesting in Japan than it is here. Finally, the music. Many of the tracks on the OSTs of these shows have repeated melodies underscoring the conversations, such as the one I'm playing now which, I shit you not, is called hentai. But after listening to them for some time, they start to feel like ringtones. That gives me an idea. So now that we've done all that, I hope you enjoy an episode of my new anime, The Melancholy of Bunny Monogatari. We are horrible pingu twats. We are horrible pingu chefs. And we'll ruin your fucking life. We don't give a fuck. We have a fucking car and a fridge in the front garden. We swear and shout a lot. We don't give a fuck. It was the middle of May, and Majuga he suggested that we do something outside. I personally dislike going outside, but that didn't stop her from dragging me along. Why do you look like that? Like what? Like you don't want to be here. I'll give you three guesses. Well, it can't be that you don't want to be here. Because I'm here. I suppose you're right. The weather might be awful, but at least I can see you in slightly less clothes than usual. Pervert. Ba ba baka. Well, if you don't like being here, then how about you come to mine for dinner the day after tomorrow? You know what? I might. We both left pretending to be less excited than we actually were. But when I got home, I was able to drop the facade. Only I chan. What are you shouting about? I'm going to have dinner at Mejugahi's on Saturday. Oh dear Oni-chan, you're not thinking of doing anything indecent are you? Listen, what I fantasize about, in this case being her legs, is none of your business. At school the next day, I was carefree. That was until... Are you Kokami? Well now I'm tempted to say I'm not, but yes, I am Kiyokami. Spelt with the character for portmanteau. I'm your Kuai. You are saying that surprisingly pridefully considering who I am. Well, I wanted to break my stereotypes. What stereotypes? That you're a friendless loner dating another friendless loner. Probably on account of their thigh obsession. Hey, I have friends. There's Shinabu. This girl has weird vibes. It's Anano. God, it's fun not being repulsive. And hey, Kahara. I assume she's why you're not referring to Major Gorhi as your girlfriend. The fuck you say to me, you Well, can I ask you a different question? You just did. Sai, you know the scar you have. Gulping sound. What scar? The one on your foot? Is this your way of trying to get me to step on you? NNO. I have the same scar. I think we were attacked by the same monster. <laughs> Next time on The Melancholy of Bunny Monogatari, Kobako Arc Part 2. Because that's what comes after Part 1, dipshit. Life.